This is the human torso, and uh, we're going to look at the blood vessels shown on the torso. We're going to start with the neck area. The blue colored vein shown in the neck area is the internal jugular vein. The red vein next to it, toward the right side of the body, is the left common carotid artery. And as we move down toward the arm area, the blue vein going to the left arm is the left subclavian vein. When the subclavian vein and the jugular vein, they connect together, they form the brachiocephalic vein. There are two brachiocephalic veins, one from the left side of the body, the other one is from the right side of the body. When the two brachiocephalic veins join together, they form the superior vena cava. Next to the superior vena cava, shown on this model, is the aortic arch. And there are three main arteries come off the aortic arch. The first one, which is on the right side of the body, is the brachiocephalic artery. The middle one is the left common carotid artery. And the third one goes to the left arm, is the left subclavian artery. The heart is not shown in this model, and uh, what we see in here is the space where the heart is located. And we see that posterior to the heart, we see the trachea, and uh, we see that it forks into two branches. Those are the primary branchi, and then we can see that uh, the primary branchi branch into the secondary branchi. Immediately below the heart, we see the diaphragm. It's a flat muscle. Separate the chest from the abdomen. And as we follow the diaphragm, we notice a large blood vessel passing through the diaphragm. That red large blood vessel is the abdominal aorta. Next to the abdominal aorta, the large blue blood vessel is the inferior vena cava. If we look at the beginning of the abdominal aorta, we notice a branch coming off. That first branch is called the celiac trunk. The celiac trunk will branch into uh, major arteries supplying the liver, the spleen, the stomach with the blood. Those are the hepatic, the splenic, and the gastric. And then as we go down, we notice the two kidneys, and we notice the blood vessels connected to the kidneys, the blue red vessel connected to the kidneys. Those are the renal veins, and on top of the renal vein, we see an artery coming off the abdominal aorta. That is the superior mesenteric artery, which will supply the small intestine with blood. As we move down, we see another branch coming off the abdominal aorta. That is the gonadal artery. 
And then below the condylar artery, we have another branch coming off. That's the inferior mesenteric artery, which will supply the blood to the colon and the large intestine. Then in the pelvic area, what happens to the abdominal aorta is it will branch into two branches. One will go to the right side of the body. The other one will go to the left side of the body. And those two branches are the left and the right common iliac. The common iliac will give a branch going deep into the pelvic area. That is called the internal iliac artery. The continuation of the um, common iliac artery after the internal iliac artery will be called external iliac artery. And then if we follow that, the iliac artery will go into the leg, and into the leg it will change into the femoral artery. On this particular model of the torso, we can also see in the thigh area the femoral vein, and we can see the inguinal lymph nodes, and then the white branches, those are the lymphatic vessels of the lymphatic system.